Today, we're gonna to quickly review what to do during certain circumstances of divorce when you're getting divorced with someone in California and you own either land or a house, an apartment with them and what to do. So we have a full comprehensive guide online on what to, how to navigate the situation, lots of details, the whole process, how to file certain, certain things in court. However, we do get a lot of questions on just specific parts of the divorce process when you own a property with someone. So we're just gonna review those on uh, through a video right now just to make it a little easier for people to digest. So if you, this is a common, common question that we get from a lot. What if you are both on title and then one partner refuses to sell? So you wanna sell, they don't wanna sell, you're both on the title. And California is a 50-50 split state with property, by the way. So um, you own a 50-50 regardless of if they, if they make a dollar, you make a million dollars per year. But if you own the house together, 50-50 split. So if one partner refuses, what can you do? You can basically build a case and apply, like reach out to the courts in California, the divorce courts, and start a trial and say, hey, it's basically you pleading with the court saying, based on all this evidence, all these details, I still have the right to sell. Um, common ways that people, and this is not financial advice, please talk to an attorney in California, divorce attorney, for all of this when consulting and trying to decide what you wanna do with a divorce. But uh, what a lot of people, what is common to see, what we see, that's pretty common, is uh, if you can you know, show to the courts that there's some financial hardship from you not selling the house, that's, you know, it makes sense, right? If you're going through financial hardship because a partner's saying, no, I don't wanna sell, the courts are people too, they're gonna understand that. So uh, if for instance, you say like, all right, well, if, you know, the divorce is expensive already, you can show expenses of that, you can show receipts, how much it's costing you, attorney fees, et cetera, and then say the, the house selling it would really help me pay my bills to get through this, then the court will, you know, take that into consideration and maybe understand. So that's just one way that people commonly try and get through. If, uh, if your partner refuses, uh, you can basically force the sale of a jointly owned property through this method. So if the courts, you know, you, they review your application, all your information, they say, okay, there's, you know, for whatever X, Y, Z reason, they should, the partner should still sell this, even though the one partner is saying no, then you go through the entire court process and that's kind of how it starts. So again, consult with an attorney for this, but that's really the, the high level, how it can work and how California, well, California allows you to do what they'll consider when getting a divorce and trying to sell a house uh, in the state. Uh, there are other ways that you can do it too. Um, I mean, you can buy out your spouse. That's another option too. Um, and it's they do that as fair as possible. So that's like, I mean, but what's the difference if they're not gonna sell it with you to be bought out? But some just prefer just they wanna get out. They don't wanna talk to you at all. So um, to buy your spouse out, the way that it works, you calculate the value of the home and today, how much it's worth today in the market, in the California market, whether you're in San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco, wherever, calculate how much it's worth. And then you subtract any debts, liens, liabilities tied to the property, mortgage, back taxes, you know, all that stuff. You subtract, so you basically calculate the exact equity currently today, and then you pay them 50% of that is how that works. That's the buyout. Um, you do get assistance with this. This isn't something that you calculate on your own with Zillow and a calculator. So um, you'll get some help and clarity if you're going in that direction. And then another third option, if they they really don't want to sell, you can agree to just co-own the co-own the house with your spouse. So even after you get divorced, you just agree, all right, we're going to keep the house. We're still going to keep it. It's going to be in both of our names because I don't want to. You don't want me to buy you out. You don't want to sell it right now. Um, I can't force a sell. So um, co-owning could just be all right. You have the you have the kid. You have the you have our child or children full custody so it makes more sense for you to live in the house or vice versa or whatever else you decide to do because obviously every divorce situation is very unique but anyway dive into our full comprehensive guide on selling a house during a divorce in california if we go over all the tips how you can save money whether you're selling it on the market off the market with a realtor to an investor we do both um, we're happy to talk to you and consult with you on what makes more the most sense for you financially for you your family uh, and everyone involved because we know it's a complicated situation. So contact us today. Let us know what questions you have. If you have any other questions that we didn't cover in this video about getting divorced and how to sell a house during a divorce uh, in California, let us know in the comments below.